Hi, my name is Campbell Lovett, Conference Minister of the Michigan Conference of the United Church of Christ, bringing you in another in our series of Faith for Thought. As I was working on my taxes this year, I had the startling revelation. For the first time in over 30 years, I had no Schedule C income. This means in 2014, I performed no weddings, no baptisms, no funerals, and received no preaching honorariums. Wow, my job has really changed from being a church pastor to being a conference minister. Another thing about being a conference minister is that I am able to mull over scripture for a longer period of time than church pastors. I don't begin each Monday reading the lessons for the coming Sunday and praying about what word is there for the sermon. So one of the passages I've been mulling over for a few weeks now is from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power and love and discipline. I've used this verse for reflection during a retreat day. I've used this verse at an installation to charge a pastor. And I have used this verse to sign off in a couple of emails to encourage the recipient. There are many forces found within local churches and our culture that can make us more and more timid. But Paul reminds us, God did not give us a spirit of timidity. God does not want us to be timid, not weak, not uncertain, not tentative. God has given us a spirit of power and of love and of discipline. Now, this does not mean that God instead wants us to be aggressive and assertive and annoying. No, God wants us to be confident in our faith, loving in our countenance, and disciplined in our actions. I hope that you will take some time to reflect upon this verse and how it speaks to you in your life of faith. And don't be surprised if one day I cheer you along with this reminder. For God has not given us the spirit of timidity, but of power and of love and of discipline. So let's get going. Amen.